Hey, this is Robert, and uh, today I'm going to show you uh, a little bit of uh, Chroma Keying in Premiere Elements 11. Um, I just got my hands on uh, Premiere Elements 11, and uh, I actually really, really like um, the way it turned out. I think that they have done a really nice job of uh, making things very easy to use, uh, but at the same time, um, there's some fairly advanced uh, 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 things that you can do with it. Um, surprisingly, um, there's a lot of uh, the features from the Premiere Pro version, um, but you know, for much, much less uh, cost. Uh, I think I got this copy on Amazon for um, you know seventy-five dollars, eighty dollars, something like that. So really, really piece, powerful piece of software for um, you know not very much money. Um, and uh, yeah, and so this basically is the scene that we're going to create today. Um, we have a uh, layer with our talent um, here, um, and then a uh, kind of virtual studio background um, with some different animations going on. We actually did a little bit of color correction um, on this background that was originally red. Um, we have this little animated monitor coming down, and then a motion graphic that plays within the monitor. Um, so first, let me delete out everything all my hard work here, um, here, there, and there. Um, so I'll delete out everything. Um, in my uh, project, basically, <coughs> when you open up uh, Premiere Elements, um, you can uh, drag and drop media to your uh, to right here. It'll add it to your project assets um, area right here. Um, I've already dragged my clips in. Um, those three clips that I have that make up this animation are the uh, the motion background that we have here, which is just a little animation, um, our talent footage um, shot on a green screen, and then our background layer. This can be anything. <laughs> we just have a uh, virtual studio um, for our instance here. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, drag and drop our talent layer um, our talent onto the uh, actually I'm going to put her on the third um, layer um, we've got video three video two video one I'm going to put her on video three um, you can actually right click just so that we can keep uh, organized here I'm going to right click on the video name rename it talent um, so we know what we're dealing with right there and so basically we have <coughs> this lovely young woman um, on a green screen um, doing some hand gestures at an invisible screen. And uh, so what I will do first is apply a chroma key effect to her um, to remove the, uh, the green in the shot here. And so if you go down to the bottom right here, there's an effects panel. Go away. There's an effects panel there. And uh, let me kick that out. When you open it up, it basically has all of these uh, different effects. If you click uh, this little button right here, um, there's these all these different folders of different effects that you can apply. Um, we're going to be going to keying right there, and you'll see all the different keys um, within there. So uh, you got a blue screen key, a chroma key, difference mat, a green screen key, you know, all the different types of things. Um, for this inst instance, I've played around with it. The chroma key is pretty good. Um, but the green screen key seems to work a little better um, of, <coughs> of just knocking out the green in, the, in, in these shots. Um, I had a little bit of trouble isolating the green in the chroma key. Um, but if you had a non-standard um, chroma key background that wasn't blue and it wasn't green and you needed to key it out, then you could probably use chroma key and, and be pretty all right. Um, this green screen chroma key, I'm going to um, click, drag it onto our talent layer and you can see it kind of pops it right out. Um, if you want to adjust it a little bit, there's probably some parts where, where it could be adjusted. <coughs> you click this applied effects button over here. Move that project assets out of the way and you'll see all the uh, different uh, key uh, effects that have been applied um, to the talent layer. Um, and so we've got our green screen there. It's kind of hard to see what's working and what's not until we get a background in there. Um, so we'll come back to this to, uh, to kind of adjust it um, to what we need. Um, so the next thing we'll do, go back to the project assets window, which is all the files that we've dragged into our um, project today. And uh, the next one that we'll drag down is the studio layer. Um, this can be a, a still image. It can be an animated um, motion. Um, this is a QuickTime file. Um, these are studios that we create 
um, and designed specifically for green screen type video projects. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll drag this one down and drag it onto the video two layer right there and you can see that it uh, goes right behind her there and then I'll right click on video 2 do rename and then call this one studio layer name and you can kind of see that the animation goes behind her there um, but you can kind of see down in her pants here that um, that there is some chroma king weirdness going on and so what we'll do is we'll select uh, this layer go to applied effects and now is here where we can kind of uh, adjust some of these settings um, to uh, be a little better. So you can kind of adjust the sliders a little bit, um, you know, go in and out to, uh, you know, get it a little better. Um, so you go too far and whoop, you go crazy. Um, but, uh, but you can kind of adjust it. Does, it I mean, it's, it's very good. I mean, for, um, for most people, this is going to be you know, a huge step up from what they've done in the past with Chroma Key. Um, it's a really good keyer for, uh, for the price. Um, okay, so that's that's okay. I mean, that's good for enough for right now. Um, and so we've got our talent layer. We've got that. She's a little high for me in the scene, um, and so I'm going to go over to motion and uh, drop that down. And where this is where you can scale up and down, you can position, you can rotate if you need to. Um, so I'm just going to click on the uh, vertical uh, adjustment here and kind of adjust her down just a hair so that she's not quite so high in the scene and that looks about right right there um, okay so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to uh, put a uh, motion or an animation b-roll animation in this monitor area right here um, actually you know what before we even get to that I'm going to uh, change the um, uh, color of this background so we've got this background it's a cool color red um, got your green monitor and whatnot, um, but maybe that doesn't match your branding. Maybe you want to change it to a different color, um, that kind of thing. It's actually pretty easy to do, even though it's a flattened, um, you know, pre-rendered animation. Um, you can go over, um, you can select it, <clears throat> go over to adjust right here, and then you come over to color, drop that down. So basically, have the uh, have it have the uh, the studio selected. Come over adjust color and then hue, and it's got these kind of presets that you can do. Um, that allow you to change different colors and that kind of thing. It's kind of cool, actually. Um, nice blue, um, you know, kind of a teal. Um, you can change it. You can change it yourself. I think you can, um, you know, do different things to make that more what you want it to be. Um, so yeah, here's the. If you click the more button, <clears throat> then you have um, the actual sliders where you can um, change the color to just about however kind of you want it to be. Um, but I think that kind of matches her eyes there a little bit. Um, okay, so we'll click that adjust button. So now we're back here. Um, and this little screen here, it really doesn't matter what color it is because we're going to knock it out with a chroma key plug-in um, so that it just goes right out. And so let's do, let's first go to our project assets window again. Um, drag the uh, B-roll animation down to the last layer, the virtual, or the video one layer. I'm going to right click on it, rename the layer, B-roll, and now um, if I um, go over to effects, uh, make sure you're still on keying there, I take this chroma key, kind of what we were talking about before, where if you have a non-traditional key, you can use this chroma key to uh, knock out any color you want. We'll take that chroma key, drag it over to the uh, studio layer, right? Um, it defaults to white, so it starts taking out some of the whiter stuff in the scene. Um, <clears throat> select the eyedrop tool. Uh, click Applied Effects. Come over to Chroma Key. Make sure that you're selected over here. Um, click the eyedropper tool for the Chroma Key effect. Uh, and then come over and sample this purple or whatever color your screen is at that point. Like that. And that will just knock it right out. And then you can just kind of adjust your, um, your settings. Um, in here to uh, get it, get it the way you need it to be. Um, change the smoothing a little bit. Uh, let's see. There we go. So you know something like that. You can kind of keep messing with it and whatnot. Um, okay. And so now you have uh, you have your uh, your animation. You got your studio layer. You got your little animation comes down. Um, boom. You got your uh, your lady. They're talking about your uh, cool animation that you've got going, but it's still a little bit large. That 
animation right now is uh, full screen. It's showing up in this whole area. So what you want to do is you want to scale it down um, and position it within the layer so that it's kind of in that same monitor area. And so we'll select the uh, that news clip there, the little B-roll clip, um, come up to motion, and then scale it down a bit, and then position it up a little bit to the left here and now let me scale it back up just a hair and then the other thing we want to do is we kind of want to angle this um, this this piece this video footage um, so that it matches the uh, the monitor there so we'll go to effects um, we'll go you, easiest way to, to find an effect is to click this little search button and if you do, if you start typing in letters like 3D, um, then it'll pop, it'll find these different effects. So if, like if I'm looking for um, a key, I can type in K-E-Y, and you see all the different keys. Um, for this effect that we're looking for, it's the 3D effect. So type in 3D, get your basic 3D, drag it, drop it onto your um, layer there. It automatically does something funky. You just have to go in there and um, turn the swivel to zero and the tilt to zero so that you can start off normal um, and then use the uh, the sliders to adjust it the way you need it. So that's we'll just kind of scale it like that and then we'll go back and scale it up a little bit. Whoa, too much. And you just kind of want to get it in there generally. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Um, because uh, the studio layer itself acts as a um, as a mask over the um, the video footage. So if it's not perfectly perfect, it's gonna um, it's still gonna mask out that edge for you right there. So you got you know there's a little bit of footage that overflows outside of there. So if you've got like text and stuff in there, you just want to make sure that you've got your um, uh, safe areas and whatnot set up for your text. Um, <clears throat> And yeah, so basically that's um, that's Chroma King in a nutshell in Premiere Elements 11. Um, like I said, it's a, a, a great, you know, very good piece of software um, for um, doing Chroma Key and green screen and blue screen video productions and that kind of thing. Um, gives you a lot of options. Um, you can also, you know, you know, once you have your uh, person shot, you know, you can move them around in the scene if you have to. Um, Oops. Select her, and then move her, you know, up or down or left, you know, or right, um, and do all sorts of different things. And you could flip her if you had to flip her on, on, you know, to switch to the other side, that kind of thing. So, um, you know, very good. And um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about um, Premiere 11 or um, virtual studios or green screen productions or anything like that, um, just visit us on our site. Our uh, URL is in the description. Um, we'll also have some um, other tutorials um, throughout our YouTube channel and on our sites. You know, feel free to drop by, take a look and see what we've been doing. Um, thanks, for, uh, thanks for watching our video.